I saw you today for the first time in person since Leo came out and I felt emotional because yeah, yeah. I'm so happy for you. You're my friend, but also I was saying you and I have collaborated on so much stuff and there's there's a lot of noise out there and I'm very proud of the stuff we've worked on together. Oh, yeah. But I'm so, I saw this thing and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a movie that kids are watching and with their parents, cause it's really funny. They're going to be watching it like 50 years from now. You know, no, I, I don't know how they'll be know. they'll be putting drops in their eyes and watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But no, I, I just it, it's nice. it's really uh, I think it's lasting. I think it's a classic. That's and amazing. I was amazing. just delighted, just really delighted for you because Jesus, you know, you deserve it. Um, oh, thank and, you. Uh, it's like it, it feels like the first thing I've ever done that everyone agreed on <laughs> at the same time, like you know. Our show was right. amazing and we loved it more than anything. And there was an audience that got it. There's always, and, and I've had, you know, and then a little segments that I've done, like the cartoons on SNL, but any independent project that I've done, even the ones that were successful, like the Zohan or right. Hotel Transylvania, it wasn't a critical success. This is like everything. It's Everything's never, coming together. Yeah, it's never happened to me in my whole career. So it's like, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it and I'm very excited and um yeah I'm very happy and I it was I really and it's four stuck years my night I know it's been four, you've been working on I this wrote for this four script, years you've the, been telling me about yes. it and I've been saying enough with the talking where I is know, it I know I it, it was maddening and I would like go on zoom meetings like you know because like first you animate it to like black and white drawings animatics yeah. animatics and you, we tested it and it did great. And it's like, great, now make it do the whole thing over. And that was like the creative process, working right. with board artists. Now you're converting the whole thing to 3D. And it's almost like, okay, we just want it to be as good as the animatic now. Like we've made most of the creative decisions mm -hmm. and it's just so technical. And like, sometimes there'd be Zoom meetings where my other two directors, like my notes were usually about acting and they'd be like, eh, Leo's tail, it has a little bump, it's off model and shit like that. And I would literally, just to be sane, I would like mute myself on the Zoom and start making animal noises. <laughs> just like, <laughs> what do you think, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> and I would send it to friends with like, they would hear the meeting in the background. The cow doesn't like the idea, I'm sorry. You know, we, we uh, the other thing I should point out is you write the, the music in this. There's a lot of, there's a lot <laughs> yes. of, there's a lot of really great songs in it. Oh, that's nice. And, um, but it's, it, it was fun for me because you and I, one thing we always had in common was we always wanted <laughs> sketches to turn into songs. I know, and just, and I know. So, we we thought sketches should have a theme song. So yes. when we were working on Mr. Short Term Memory, that we, was like the first we wanted it to have a song. Yeah, it was and like Lauren Mr. was Short like, "Can't it just be?" Because Don Pardo for years would just be, "And now another episode of Short Term Memory Man." <laughs> yeah, and, and Lauren we were, literally said, "Can't it just be an hour another episode of?" And we and just, we were like, "No, it has to be." <laughs> and and Odin Kirk and 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 uh, Greg Daniels were working on this too. But we, we wanted we were like, "No, no, it has to be a song, Mr. Yes. Short Term Memory." Yes, he shouldn't. Have have sat under that pear tree. Yes. And it's Tom Hanks sitting under a pear lyric. tree and a pear drops and hits him on the head. Now he has no memory. He'll frustrate you so, but he'll, he'll never, never know. Because he's, he's Mr. Mr. Short Term. Uh, it was memory. one of those things. It was like the first one. Yeah, I, I love the elegance of that first line. And But then that became like a, a plague on the show. Like yeah. everybody started putting jingles at the top of every, yes. every yeah. character. Everything sketch. had to have a, a jingle. Everything had a jingle. Right. But yes, um, actually I, I would have to, the, the biggest thrill of this movie on some level is just the balls to write songs and music. Like I was so scared to do it on one hand, but then I like, I knew a composer, this brilliant composer, David Yazbek. I, I can't even play a musical instrument. I just mm -hmm. sang these into garage band and like, and then I sent them to him and I was like, do these suck? And he was like, no, they don't suck. And I was like, oh God. The song at the end okay. with all the children saying how old they are. Oh, when then, I was 10? And then yeah. it like that's blends beautiful. into yeah. the next age. Thank you. It was you. amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my favorite. And um, yeah, I love it because it's funny. It starts out really funny because the, the, the premise is like, probably an old Peanuts premise, like a kid thinking, oh, back when I was seven, things were, you have no idea how, what, you, what you're what you looking. Right, right. But um, but I just love like the the lyrics get, are very silly at first. Like, you know, we all 
gave, left milk for Santa Claus. My mom was not in menopause and that kind of thing. <laughs> it's all very like heartfelt and they're in a spotlight. And then it turns at one point, you know, one girl's reminiscing about her grandfather and my gerbils are still alive. It's still kind of funny. And then another kid says, I didn't care that people died, which is something that's based on something I experienced with my son, Rowie, who's also in the movie. He plays the uh, whatever kid, the the allergy kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. The drone kid. But and he, uh, but anyway. <laughs> that's a great. That, I love the drone. <laughs> oh, the drone's amazing. When he eats, yeah, yeah, when yeah, he goes yeah. full Bridget Jones and starts eating the chocolate ice cream. After <laughs> ah, and I love that. Thank you. But so, Rowie, the, so there... When my dad passed away, my kids used to like laugh at the idea of death. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have a similar, but my I kids still do. Well, you know, <laughs> you, you never sort of get that. over the shock and yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, realize how funny it is <laughs> uh, after your own parents die. Uh -huh. No, so, no. So, Roey, they would, they would like death, man. That, what is that all about? And they'd giggle about how weird it is when they were like four. And then, like, my dad passed away when they were eight. And he had a long illness and a beautiful long life. So the part of me was relieved. But the thing that really made me cry was like hearing Rowie experience it and mm -hmm. cry. He was crying really hard. I was with my mom. And so I spoke to him on the phone. And I realized that not only is he crying because he adored his grandfather, but because he's taking in this right. reality. So that part gets oh, me every yeah. time. You know, that's when, I, that's when I get emotional when I hear that song. Well, right. it's a uh, absolutely beautiful movie, and um, you're right. It's like the it's nice when it all comes together. And uh, I, I Jesus, finally I'm know. looking at this. Leo yeah. has had this is crazy 34.6 <laughs> million views in its first six days. I, I don't know what that means, but it, it sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest debut ever for a Netflix yeah, animated yeah. film. That's so nice. uh, that's I mean. As long as you have a big piece of the merch, you're okay. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I do. <laughs> Lauren! Somewhere in Maine. <laughs> Somewhere in Maine. A blueberry farm just got a little yeah, bigger. it's a blueberry farm, right? Yeah, Is that a what massive it? blueberry farm. You know the... <laughs> and also, this is like, we have to do it because we all do Lauren voices and make Lauren jokes, but... You and I would be completely unknown to anyone, uh, to oh everybody, if it weren't for Lorne Michaels. So oh, without a doubt, we love we love him to death. We love him to death, but, but we love yeah. doing his voice. We love doing his voice. The blueberries, and that he has a giant <laughs> blueberry farm in Wait Maine. A so it's like and, uh, you know the, <laughs> the the blueberries. Um, we don't sell the blueberries because they're ripe. We sell them because it's eleven thirty on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robert, I should probably wrap this up, but I, yes, I, there's yes. got to be a part two yes. Yes, at some please. point. Because, uh, but thank you for doing this. Thank I you. love you. Thank you changed you. my life. You're the best. You keep changing it, ruining it, but also making it better. Making then changing it back. Yep. Fixing, smashing, and then enjoy. Making... I want you to be happy. For you, you should be. I, I can't believe you could even say that you're still nervous. You are. I'm not nervous, I, but, but it's I'm, like I'm so happy for you because I think it's. Uh, can I take two seconds to just remember? Okay, so I remember like that summer, mm -hmm. Conan would do these uh, practice shows. 1993, I'm talking mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. and like Dino, like a couple of writers would be out there, and there's no audience, and Conan would just be so fucking funny, just relaxed on stage. And there was a part of me that was like, Why do we have to have an audience? Why do we even have to have an audience? It's just going to get in the way. And, you know, he figured it out and obviously had an amazing career on late night television. But this show is everything that you are. It's so amazing. We get to see how smart you are and thoughtful and spontaneously funny. And I'm over the moon for you. Oh, you thanks. have this and how yeah. popular it is. And I, I know that I know you're happy. I, know, I am. No, I, no, I, I am. I, 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 I'm very blessed. I yeah, do yeah. wish one thing sometimes, which is I wish there had been a camera or a recording going on in the writer's rooms over the years, because <laughs> I'll always think that was my best work was uh, after a late night show yes. in, a, in a room talking Enter, about- Entertaining the writers. Yeah. I would do whole shows for the yes. writers. Yeah. And um, that's, true. that's my best work and it will never be known. <laughs> and, uh, but that's okay. It's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. This is, uh, this is really close to that. Anyway. No. 
Uh, you love it. you. Everyone love you. has already seen Leo twice by these metrics, <laughs> but go. everyone go see it nine times. And congratulations. Thank you. Mazel. Thank you. Mazel. Mazel. I'm filled with mazel.